Hi, this is Surya from Skilling. Hope you're doing well. India over the last five years has taken some significant steps to enable a large number of manufacturing and engineering services jobs. The general consensus across the world is that the next two decades as India's decades. In order to capitalize the opportunities that are present today and in the future, the most important aspect of it is the talent pool in India. In this video, I want to point out five significant events that has happened over the last five years that has put India in the driver's seat. The first significant incident was COVID. When COVID hit China in 2020, they put in place something called as a zero COVID policy for the next three years, 2020, 2021 and 2022. Since China was one of the biggest manufacturing countries, almost 90% of semiconductors were manufactured from China. And similar to semiconductors, a lot of other components were supplied from China. Because of the zero COVID policy, this supply chain got fractured. And that is one of the reasons why if you had booked a car during COVID, it would have taken at least five to six months to get it delivered. The fracturing of supply chain across the world impacted every company that you can think of. And therefore, all the top companies came up with a strategy called China plus one. This strategy was simple. Companies wanted an alternate manufacturing country that can be dependable and has the capacity to manufacture and deliver the components. India, with its large English speaking engineering demography, has come up to be the alternative. And that is why you already see companies like Apple shift their manufacturing base to India. Apple is not the only company. Apple suppliers like Foxconn and top companies like Samsung, Hyundai, BMW all have started looking at India as an alternate manufacturing country. This shift in manufacturing from China to India has already created a lot of job opportunities, especially in the domain such as engineering design, analysis, embedded systems, battery management systems and EV technologies. China Plus One was the first significant initiative. The second one is our government's Gati Shakti plan. If you have not heard about this, Gati Shakti plan in simple terms is the strategy to make Indian infrastructure world class. If you are in a Thai 1 or Thai 2 city, you might have seen a lot of construction activities in your cities like widening of roads, building bridges or subways across your city. This is not only for faster commute, but more importantly, to move goods from one place to another. The government's effort in building more rails, rail tracks, ports and airports is to make sure that the goods are transported at a faster pace. If any country needs to be good at manufacturing, they need to have a very low cost logistics and the infrastructure development that is going on currently enables more manufacturing companies to set up base in India. This again translates to not only manufacturing jobs, but a lot of infrastructure, rail and cargo jobs, in which a lot of engineers from civil, electrical, electronics and mechanical will be used. The third significant initiative is government's PLI scheme. In simple terms, PLI is Production Linked Incentive which is nothing but government incentivizing production of goods in India. A good example of this is mobile phone manufacturing. Back in 2014, nearly 92% of mobile phones sold in India were imported compared to 2020 when 97% of mobile phones were manufactured in India. This was because of the PLI schemes. This shift from importing mobile phones to making in India was because of the PLI schemes that the government initiated for incentivizing electronic components. Currently, there are PLI schemes for manufacturing semiconductors and defense equipments. The investment in these two areas alone are in tens of thousands of crores. 
these initiatives have already enabled companies to set up their shops in india just in defense once upon a time india was the biggest defense importer and now we export equipments to 75 countries in the world another example is intel intel is now looking at putting together an engineering and production hub in india along with its suppliers pli is the third initiative that will bring in a lot of engineering jobs the fourth and the fifth initiative is in the domains of electric vehicles and in aerospace industry as you know the whole world is transitioning from a ic engine to electric powered power trains this means rethinking vehicle dynamics rethinking the entire power train making the vehicle connected and more importantly creating a new energy source like batteries in each of these segments there is a lot of engineering work that is needed and to make things better recently we discovered lithium ore in jammu and kashmir which means the next step is to mine the ore process the raw material and start producing batteries in india this is an excellent opportunity to create a lot of engineering jobs and that's what the government and all the companies are doing right now the last and the fifth initiative is air transportation air transportation has become the primary mode of travel for indians in order to feed the demand the government is building a lot of airports and carriers like indigo and air india are ordering a lot of aircrafts you might have heard about air india announcing that they are buying around 700 aircrafts from airbus and boeing it is estimated that in the next 2 years india will order 2000 new aircrafts which alternatively means more number of jobs because government is asking these companies to manufacture and assemble a part of these aircrafts in india as you might have already guessed this again brings a lot of job opportunities especially for engineering talent in this video we spoke about five initiatives summarizing it once again the first one was china plus one strategy second was gati shakti strategy to enable faster infrastructure transition the third was the pli schemes in defense aerospace and automotive to make in india electric vehicle and aerospace transition was the fourth and fifth all of this is happening in india and the necessary jobs are being created in india now the only question is does india have the talent to grab these opportunities one thing is for sure india definitely has a quantum of engineers to cater to these opportunities and with respect to do these engineers have this industry skills that these jobs require that is the most important question that we at skillic have been focused on over the last 5 years as a result we have built some of the best courses in electric vehicle embedded system civil infrastructure development mechanical design and analysis and we have enabled almost 2500 students to succeed in high paying jobs across these domains we have been singularly focused on moving india forward and are now glad to announce our move india forward campaign this march we want to upskill the next 2000 students who will be recruited over the next 6 months if you want to be a part of these 2000 students you can now enroll in any of our premium master programs and get 1 lakh scholarship waiver if your gpa is greater than 6 in addition for the next 250 students who enroll in our premium masters you get three individual courses of your choice free of cost so what are you waiting for enroll now upskill and move india forward by becoming a talented engineer